I first thank the organizer for organizing these events. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, gap statistics for confined particles with power interactions. Uh, this work is done uh, in collaboration with uh, Jitendra Sana, Abhishek Manas, and Anupam. Uh, okay, and this is uh, under uh, actually this place, uh, PRL. Okay. Uh, so, uh, for quantum systems, uh, our primary aim is to uh, calculate the energy spectrum of the system corresponding to the Hamiltonian. That is, we have to solve this H psi equal to E psi. And in, except for few simple systems, we uh, can't even calculate this equation. And in systems with larger, large number of degrees of freedom, we don't even know what the Hamiltonian is. So here comes this uh, random matrix theory. Uh, here, what we do actually, the, uh, we take these elements of this uh, matrix Hij to be random, taken from some uh, probability distribution. And uh, as the elements are uh, random, so we get some distribution of these uh, uh, energies. Uh, instead of the Excel exact eigen exact energies. Okay, and in one of the simplest cases where we can calculate this uh, distribution of these energies uh, exactly, and uh, this is the case where we take this uh, Gaussian ensemble and the uh, diagonal elements, uh, the, the probability distribution for the diagonal elements is this exponential minus x square by two form, and for the off-diagonal elements, the distribution is exponential minus x square form, and you can take uh, and we take this. Uh, a, uh, this Hamilton to be symmetric, that means HI is equal to HJ. Okay, so in this case, if you calculate the uh, distribution of these uh, energy eigenvalues, then this looks uh, of this form equation three. There is some term like exponential minus half uh, lambda i square, and there is some uh, product term uh, mod of lambda i minus lambda j. And you can see that uh, though the uh, elements were uh, independent, but the eigenvalues becomes uh, very correlated. If you put a lambda equal to lambda j, let's say the two eigenvalues are same, then the distribution you will get that is actually zero. So that means they are actually very uh, correlated. And uh, if you compare this uh, probability distribution uh, with uh, Boltzmann distribution of this form to the power minus beta e, then uh, this uh, the energy corresponding to this uh, probability distribution, you have lambda e is actually of this form, that is uh, minus half of lambda square min, uh, and times this uh, logarithmic interaction form. Okay, just uh, write down this product from times it, uh, as e to the power log of this term. So that gives us this uh, system that is actually known as uh, log gas. Just you replace this uh, eigenvalues of this uh, uh, in, in equation uh, just by the position of the particles. And this actually system corresponds to this uh, 2D Coulomb gas. We know that uh, for uh, 2D Coulomb gas system, the interaction potential is uh, logarithmic, but again, the particle is confined in a uh, harmonic trap, 1D harmonic trap. Okay, and the inverse temperature corresponding to this uh, distribution is actually uh, beta is equal to one. Okay, so there are lots of interesting studies in this uh, context of log gas, and one of the interesting studies is the level spacing statistics. Uh, what we do here, we just first order these energy eigenvalues. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we first order these energy eigenvalues and then take the difference between uh, two consecutive uh, energy eigenvalues. And quantify the, uh, then calculate this quantity Sj, that is this delta J by average delta J, and this average is taken over many uh, realization. Now, if you calculate this, uh, if you take this all this Sj together and calculate uh, compute this distribution P of Ns, then you get uh, something like uh, this distribution, uh, where this different uh, system size are, uh, are taken, and you can see that uh, on top of this distribution, the, the WS is also shown, and this WS is actually uh, the expression which you can co compute from the uh, just two particle uh, distribution. That means uh, in, this, in, this, in this Hamiltonian four, you just take this uh, n to be two and calculate the spacing distribution. Then you get the distribution of this from like pi by two times a sin t to the power minus pi s square by four. And that is actually known as Wigner surmise in this context of random matrix theory. And one of the uh, one interesting thing is that, uh, and, and no noticeable thing is that, uh, if you put s to be zero there, uh, if you put s to be zero there, uh, then you get the distribution to be actually zero. That means uh, the, at the same thing, actually the, you, the probability of getting two eigenvalues to be same, actually the, the probability is zero. So that is actually known as level function. Okay, so th this is the energy of the log gas system. And uh, there are actually uh, studies uh, where uh, they check this, uh, the uh, this features of this uh, spacing distribution. Uh, by changing the distribution of the elements of the uh, random matrix. 
and they found that this universality is still there uh, under the change, uh, change of this uh, probability distribution. So in our project, what we uh, did actually, we I change this form of this interaction. That is the, uh, this is the uh, logarithmic term. We change uh, this interaction term to be of this, uh, like uh, this form, one by xi minus xi to the power k. That is a, a large class of model where uh, actually uh, k tends to zero limit is the uh, log, log gas limit with this, uh, with this limit. Uh, jk tends to one limit, this system actually becomes log gas limit. You can see from this expression also. Okay. So, uh, we actually uh, want to calculate uh, the uh, spacing distribution for for uh, this model equation six. Okay, so uh, but before going to that, uh, we need to understand some uh, uh, the actually the equilibrium density for this uh, for this model. And uh, this work is uh, uh, done uh, in two thousand nineteen by uh, Sanagaran et al. Also, what they did actually uh, they express the free energy of the system uh, in terms of this continuum density. Okay, this is the uh, energy term and this is the entropy term. And uh, as the uh, interaction term, you see that the, this is actually all to all coupling model. And that means the, um, the single, uh, a single particle interact with all other particles of the system. Then uh, that is, uh, the, this makes the energy super extensive in the system size. Okay, so uh, actually in this free energy, you, uh, you can uh, neglect this entropy term and minimizing this uh, free energy corresponds to become minimizing of this uh, energy term only. And uh, minimizing this free energy, they calculated this uh, uh, equilibrium density profile. And this is actually the form of the equilibrium density profile, uh, where you can see that uh, there is some scaling function f is there. Uh, okay, you can uh, find the form of this fk, uh, lk, etc. things uh, in, the, in this reference only. What we, I need actually here is just the system size scaling of this uh, density. That is actually one over n to the power alpha k where alpha k is uh, one over k by two for minus two, to, uh, minus two less than k less than one and k by k plus two for k greater than one. So that's what uh, we need from uh, this, uh, uh, this reference and as well as this uh, free energy also, I'll explain it later. Okay, now if you uh, uh, want to see that how this scaling function a looks like this, uh, uh, this one, uh, then uh, here is the uh, plot for different values of k. You can see that for k is equal to Oh, minus 1.5, uh, this is actually the inverted dome kind of shape. For k is equal to minus one, it becomes, uh, uh, this density becomes uniform. For k is equal to zero, this is actually this uh, random matrix model, this log gas model. And if you see that the, uh, the distribution is actually uh, same, uh, weakness semicircle form. And again, for k is equal to two also, uh, this distribution actually same, both in this case, actually weakness semicircle form and there are, uh, the form are actually different. Okay, so actually our aim is to look at the uh, spacing distribution of this system. And uh, what we see first is that uh, this, pl uh, this plot I have shown uh, earlier. And here you can see that for k is equal to minus one also, we got similar result as we got for this uh, k is equal to zero model. But the, uh, but the difference you can see is that uh, though you put s to be zero, then you get some finite probability of uh, uh, getting this s to be zero. So, uh, uh, so that's why level repulsion is not there, but this feature is uh, still there. Uh, that is uh, two particle distribution. This GW is actually the two particle distribution where A, B are actually constant in terms of some functions which I, I didn't write here. So uh, you can uh, think that this uh, two particle distribution can uh, well approximated by this, uh, this large end result also. But uh, at that time uh, also uh, 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 in such group, there is a uh, work done by this, uh, I think a flag. Uh, they did actually uh, uh, look at uh, the distribution of this uh, spacing distribution at large s. And uh, what, they, uh, what they found actually, this distribution actually scales with exponential minus s cube for large s. So that's why uh, this weakness surmise uh, is actually uh, not present uh, in this minus one model also, though we uh, thought initially that there is some weakness surmise. Okay, now what happens for other values of k? If you see that uh, even after this scaling, that is uh, delta j by the average delta j, uh, this scaling, we don't get any uh, collapse of this uh, distribution function for, uh, uh, for with system size for different values of k. Though it looks like for k is equal to minus 0 0.5, uh, there is some collapse, but it is not. And uh, this uh, deviation actually increasing with uh, n. So for different k, we are not getting any uh, surmise kind of thing. So to get some n independent distribution, we define uh, this quantity as the tilde. Okay, which is uh, nothing but the uh, gap uh, where from it, this average value is subtracted 
and uh, we divide it by its standard deviation. And if we look at the spacing distribution, that is p tilde, uh, in terms of this uh, is uh, s tilde variable, then we get that x step. Uh, we get the uh, system size independent spacing distribution uh, for this actually uh, three plus, but not for this minus zero point five. So I got five minutes remain. Yeah, actually, in between minus zero point five, uh, sorry, in between minus one and zero, we are. Uh, not able to calculate uh, the uh, scaling uh, form so that the spacing distribution is independent of system size. Okay, so these are the uh, distribution of the uh, spacing. Uh, so now we specially look at the space, uh, mean and the variance of ball gap. And if you see that uh, this the mean ball the ball gap, you can write it as this one over n rho equilibrium, one over n rho equilibrium. That is, del let's say you take delta to be the uh, length scale somewhat. And rho is the uh, density uh, at that place, which is let's say quite flat in that area. Then delta by uh, then n rho delta is the number of particles there in this uh, delta uh, in this delta uh, length. So the uh, the mean um, the ball gap is actually then delta by n rho delta. So delta delta cancel, it is become it becomes one over n rho. So average ball gap actually one over n rho equilibrium. So as we as we know the uh, scaling exponent of this uh, equilibrium density, we know the scaling exponent of this AK. And this is actually of this from AK equal to one minus alpha K. And we know this alpha K from the uh, reference, uh, this SANA work. Uh, and this is actually the form of this K plus one by K plus two. And you can see that uh, this, this, this line is the, uh, uh, this line, uh, this expression of AK. Okay, AK MC is uh, this line. Uh, so not this line, this points. And uh, the line is actually corresponds to this uh, expressions. Okay, so similarly, we uh, looked at the variance of the ball gap, and uh, we uh, assume that the, there is my, there might be this, uh, power law dependence of the system size, and we calculated this exponent uh, for different values of k, and uh, it comes out to be uh, two for k greater than one, and this is a fat line, and then uh, one plus k uh, in between uh, zero to one, this uh, this straight line, then uh, two into one plus k by k plus two, this is actually uh, this curved part, and one plus k in between minus two and uh, minus one. Okay, so that's what we get from the Monte Carlo simulation. But how do we get this expression? Uh, for that, I, I will give some argument. But before going to that, you can see that uh, this a k minus b k by two is plotted as a function of k in this inset. And this is uh, you can think that this is actually nothing but the relative fluctuation over mean, that is sigma delta by average delta. And it scales with system size and entropy by a k minus b k by two. And as you can see from the figure, except between minus one and zero, or oh, this actually this is actually negative quantity. That means it decays with system size. Okay, so that motivates us actually uh, to do uh, some quadratic uh, theory. So what we uh, did actually, uh, we write down uh, this is actually the, our microscopic energy of the system, and we write down this microscopic energy uh, around its equilibrium value plus some fluctuation over these positions. Okay, and the faster vanishes because of this. Uh, uh, this is the expansion around its mean. So this is the. Uh, uh, quadratic term in uh, position variables. Okay, now if we change the uh, variables from positions to uh, delta variables, then uh, this uh, spacing distribution uh, can be, exp uh, sorry, spacing. Oh, this quadratic term can be explained in terms of gap variables also. And the distribution of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the distribution of the, flux, uh, the, the fluctuation of this gap, actually uh, of this takes this form, it will minus beta by two of just the second term. Okay, and inverting this matrix H, we calculate this variance of ball gap, and that is actually this beta H uh, inverse II element. And you can see from this uh, uh, from this uh, plot that it expands every. Uh, it's exp you can see that BK MH is there, and it's, uh, the the result is actually one plus K up to this uh, one value, and after that it is two. So uh, except ex got this curve, one minute remains. Yeah, except this curved part, uh, this it can uh, uh, explain the entire region, okay. So to explain the, uh, the carb part also, we uh, go to the field theoretic technique. That means we start again from the uh, free energy of the uh, free energy of the system. This is the energy part and the entropy part. And what we did actually, we expand this free energy around this equilibrium value. That means we take this rho to be some rho, rho equilibrium value plus delta rho and uh, expand this up to second order in delta rho. Okay, and we uh, then this, gap actually one over n rho and we uh, write down this rho, rho as rho equilibrium plus delta rho, then it becomes some average value plus some fluctuation. 
now we relate this fluctuation uh, fluctuation of the gap to the fluctuation of density in this uh, in the expansion of in the expansion of this uh, free energy and we get uh, similarly the distribution of this uh, uh, fluctuation of gap as of this form uh, it will minus beta by 2 m i z delta 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 but m i z actually you can find uh, this exact expression uh, in our uh, uh, article only okay so inverting this uh, matrix element again we get the uh, uh, scaling exponent uh, and you can see that so everywhere this uh, this uh, uh, the pink uh, circle actually everywhere this explain our uh, this uh, formula okay so that is the thing uh, so in conclusion that in terms of this quantity s tilde we are able to uh, find the system size independence spacing distribution uh, using simple quantity theory you can explain this non trivial exponent bk uh, for the variance of bell cap and uh, one thing i actually just forgot to mention that actually the entropy term was dominating uh, uh, in the uh, in the part or the, in the curve part okay and uh, which has actually uh, obtained from the field theory technique only okay uh, thank you for details you can thanks aika for the nice talk uh, we can take one question. Uh, you have taken this Wigner uh, uh, type of ensemble, like uh, you have cho chosen this Gaussian. Uh, did, did you have think about some other type of ensembles like like i don't know like ortland zinbauer type of ensembles or maybe some circular uh, or there are lots of ensembles you know in random like matrix theories yeah so uh, i'm just asking that if you change the ensemble in this case what you expect the things will going to drastically change whatever you have analysis here because their distributions are like different. This is the first question. Yeah, just this is the first question. And the continuation of that is if you add the interaction term, then what is going to happen? Oh, matrix elements. In the, mat in the matrix elements. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think for the interaction term, you won't be able to calculate the probability distribution of eigenvalues also. Okay. Okay. And what about the first question? And first question, the result will uh, drastically change. Any idea how much, like, or any other people have studied similar kind of studies with some other type of ensemble or? Yeah, there are. Uh, because the book you have referred, Madal Lal Mehta, they have like seven, eight chapters on that. Symbols of uh, for this uh, spacing distribution things, I think only few uh, references are there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do Do you have any comment about gaps in the edge? Yeah. Calculate uh, the mean gap, but not the variance. I think uh, you can calculate this mean gap scaling uh, using Lifty's argument actually. Yeah, that will be different, of course. Yeah, thanks, Aikat. Thanks for the nice talk.